Hello, hello, my Pisces peeps. God, how I've missed you guys. Ugh. I've missed, missed, missed my Pisces. Happy June, by the way. So crazy. We don't know. Nobody knows <laughs> what's going to happen tomorrow. You guys are cool with that, though. You don't care anyways. You kind of just kind of go with the flow of, of whatever happens. You guys are you guys are good with that. Now, I've been kind of curious about Pisces, be, you know, Pisces, because... Uh, you know, I know that you guys, you know, need your your downtime and everything and uh, need your time to reflect and kind of, you know, get rid of the the biluge of, of feelings that you download from everybody, right? Um, so you're used to spending, uh, you know, some downtime to yourself and you're okay with that. But you also absolutely love, love, love people, right? And so to be separated uh, to an extent from from people is is can be a little bit rough for for Pisces and a little bit even almost kind of depressing, right? It's like not as exciting, uh, you know. Because in general, I, you guys really like people. You like to be a, a, around people. You like to have the opportunity, anyways, to to have laughter and good times and fun. So I've been uh, kind of curious to see how you guys have been. Uh, holding up and I just I absolutely absolutely adore you guys I, I have to say of all the signs you guys my fellow water signs uh you know I have probably the the deepest emotional connection to you guys uh you know uh, being being like a very fundamentally having a large amount of, of Scorpio energy in my chart, um, I would have to say that that you guys out of everybody understand me. Um, you know, because I can come across with the whole stone exterior, and while everybody else is like, "Oh God, what a capital B," <laughs> you know. You guys, you're not even, you don't even begin to become intimidated by it. You know what's going on. You know, you, you cut right through all of that and you can see right to the center of people. You can see right to the heart of people. And um, <laughs> while that can be unnerving at times, while it can be unnerving and it can leave people feeling vulnerable because you are so insightful and because you, you can tell these things, it's also makes me feel really good to have someone in, in my presence and in my life that fundamentally gets me on such a deep level. I absolutely adore you guys. Um, if, if, I, if, if emotionally, if, if I could relate to anybody, it would be, it would be Pisces and uh, I've missed you guys. So um, anyways, let's see what's going on in the month of June interesting I got this for I, I just did a reading for for Leo and I got this for Leo too first card out we have the knight of swords followed by the ten of swords a lot of mental energy going on here Pisces maybe Pisces has had a little bit too much time to think lately no uh, two of Pentacles okay Nine of Rods. If I could pick up the card, that'd be great. King of Swords. Followed by the Nine of Swords. Wow. Wow. Whew. My intense Pisces. Give me a sec, okay? This is, uh, this is a little bit intense. <laughs> a little bit intense, Pisces. Mm. Okay. You guys have had or do have a lot 
on your mind. I call it um, brain monkeys. When your mind just goes round and round and round, it is trying to to search for a solution, or in fact is even, uh, you know, thinking of things over and over again because you're afraid that you're going to lose it, but yet you're not getting anywhere with all that information, anyways. And I, you know, to an extent, this can happen to to a sign like Pisces when they are spending more time um, to themselves more than usual. But there, there is something, there's something that's been bothering you guys. There's something that's been, you know, taking its turns in your, in your head, <sighs> causing anxiety. But the good news is Pisces in the month of June that is coming to an end. Thank God. Ah. All right, let's let's get through it, okay? Let's talk about it. Knight of Swords. So Swords cards, you have one, two, three, four out of six cards in your reading that are Swords cards. This is mental energy. This is air energy. The Knight of Swords is quick moving information, quick information coming in that a lot of times, you know, actually, you know, makes you have to, uh, there's some kind of action involved. There's some type of, of, of information that is, is just charging in at you. You know, it almost might be a little bit unexpected, uh, how quickly it comes in. Underneath that as a clarifier, you have the 10 of swords. The 10 of swords, <laughs> is 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 definitely an ending i mean as you can see right that's why i'm saying whatever the situation is that's been causing you anxiety or you know or to to overthink or to overanalyze is coming to an end the 10 is is the last card and in, in that in that suite of swords whatever this is 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 coming to an occlusion conclusion and and the 10 of swords is actually not a surprising card. It's almost sometimes something that we can even see coming, right? It is a situation that has been bothering us uh, truly, and, and it comes to an end. It's not exactly the easiest end, <laughs> for sure. Um, You may even get, I don't know why I'm saying this. I mean, I, of course, I mean, the image on, on the back is, uh, the image on the card, I mean, is, is someone literally getting stabbed in the back. There may be, you may be finding out some type of information about someone actually doing you wrong. I mean, maybe you've been feeling uncomfortable about this, right? Pisces are known for their intuition. Something's been off. Something's been triggering you to overthink. Something's been triggering some anxiety. Something just doesn't feel right. You may have information coming in in the month of June that triggers a, a culmination of that and an ending of that, like a confirmation of that, whatever it is, is put to rest. Does it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. But again, it's the ending of it, right? And whenever there's an ending, it allows us to, to start a, a, a new cycle, a new beginning, wherever there, there is, an ending, there's a beginning and, and you need a beginning because of, of the balancing act you've been trying to do. Now, the, the two of pentacles, you know, can come across in a couple different ways. It can be about having to make a decision. All right. Having to make a decision and, and the pentacles being a, a material uh, card as well. It could be having to make a decision to do with property. It could be making a decision that has to do with finances somehow. The Two of Pentacles can also be a card representing uh, have a juggling act, right? 
having to try to keep two things going at the same time just to create some type of balance. Okay, you know, I know that that's an anxiety, uh, you know, that, that can cause a lot of anxiety and you guys are tired. Oh gosh, you're tired of having to like defend yourself with the Nine of Rods. You know that this is the Nine of Rods is a is a card that is about uh, you know standing your ground, fighting the good fight, um, you know being strong, but also you know the Nine coming towards the end of of you know that that suit as well. You guys, uh, you know you you may feel like you've been carrying a, a burden and and having to carry the weight of something and having to. Uh, defend your yourself or your property or your family or your position or, or something. Something's been making you uneasy and it's all that you can do just to just to keep the balance going. Hmm. The next card is yet again another another you know mental card but but this this is clarification this is mental clarification so i i want to just really quick show the card right underneath that is the nine of swords this is the 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 card of anxiety this is why i know that you guys have really something's really been bothering you something's really this is the brain monkeys right something's really been on your mind uh, this is the anxiety card. This is the sleepless night card. This is the overthinking card. But clarifying that, and right above it, you've got the king of swords. This means, what this means, and this is the master of this suit, you guys are getting the clarification you need. And, that, and that's very, you know, that's very true with the knight of swords coming in. There's going to be some type of information that comes that, that puts all of this to rest. And when I say it puts it to rest, I mean it kills it. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to laugh or make light of it, but it is the end of this situation. I mean, you know, you go from anxiety. Let me switch these around so it makes sense. You go from from sleepless nights to it's the end of the scenario. So some type of information is coming in that that ends this cycle of wondering and thinking. And quite honestly, Pisces, it needed to come to an end. This is hard energy. This is hard energy. This is something that you guys have had to be juggling, right? Juggling this just to just to try to keep up, just to try to keep going. Making a decision, getting information and it's a decision. It's the end of of whatever kind of complicated I mean, mentally exhausting absolutely mentally and physically exhausting situation listen pisces i don't know what you guys have been going through or what's been on your mind or what you've been thinking about or what you've been trying to juggle or what you've been trying to pull off or what you've been trying to defend my god but it, it's coming to an end there's going to be some clarification that comes in that to be honest with you you probably already knew but you weren't absolutely sure, but you know now. You know, you will know in the month of June and this cycle will be coming to an end. And as difficult as it's been and as tired as you are, it's coming to an end. I, I want to get, this is pretty intense, Pisces. And, and some of you might not relate to this at all. And you're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Everything's good. I've been cool. You know, I haven't been overthinking about anything or trying to figure anything out. God, and this could be, this could be in regards to so many different situations in your life. I mean, it could be anything. But something's really been nagging at you guys. Something's really been sucking the life out of you. I'm getting a clarifier on the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Okay. You get another Knight. You have the, the Knight of Rods. Okay. 
Uh, so some this this type of information that's that's quickly coming in with the Knight of Swords, this kind of clarification that you get, that's finally gonna say, okay, enough's enough. That's the end of that. It's like you don't even have any control over the end of this, but you might have felt like it was coming, especially being an intuitive Pisces. Whatever it is, is gonna prompt action with the Knight of Rods. You guys are gonna have to take some type of action. You're gonna have to make some type of decision with the Two of Pentacles, right? Because it's the end. It's the end of it. So when there is an end of something, you, you know, it, you have to bring in something new. It changes things. So it's got to prompt, it's going to prompt some type of quick action with the Knight of Rods. Just make sure that whatever action you take, Pisces, in the month of June, that you don't just jump into it based on how you're feeling. That you're not just reactive. Use this King of Swords energy to really figure out where you need to go from here and, and what you need to do. And instead of just hastily, hastily you know, you know, you find something out, uh, it's the end of a situation, and then you just immediately take action without thinking through what needs to be done or what the next phase is or how that's going to look. So there, there's a little bit of a caution there for you in the, in the, in the month of June, Pisces. Let's get a clarifier on the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Rods. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Rods. Yeah, you guys have been really like hanging on there by a thread. Just trying to just trying to balance things and, and make things work and you're tired. You're just tired of it. Um hmm. Okay, you guys are going to get me emotional because I'm feeling you, <laughs> I'm feeling you. So the clarifier for the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Rods is the, the Five of Swords, another Swords cards, Pisces. Oh my gosh, the headache, the headache. The Five of Swords is literally about, mm, you may feel like you win this one or you may feel like someone else has won this battle but really no one wins <laughs> yeah really no one no one's winning here Pisces it may you know I understand that you know that you you feel like no one's no one um, no one's winning okay this is not, whatever this is, is, is not a good situation. It's not a, been an easy situation for, for either party. And I do feel like it has something to do. I do feel like it has something to do with two sides. I do. Whether it's balancing two things or it's between two people or, you know, two different parties or, or two different sides of things, nobody's winning here nobody's winning here I, I I want to give you guys some positive reinforcement though I want to let you guys know that even as difficult and as 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 hard and as tiring as this situation has been I I just want to reiterate that it's the end of it is an is it an easy ending is it a feel good ending is, is it a victory ending no no it's not but it's an ending <laughs> and you guys need this to end for sanity purposes you need this situation to end. You need this ending. You do. Take whatever time you need to recuperate, recover, grieve, whatever you need to do. Take that time for yourself to go through that. But understand that an ending like this happens because it needs to happen in order for you to be healthy in order for you to be able to move on, in order for you to be able to be the person that you are, because this has been restraining you. It has been sucking the life out of you. 
and it needs to come to an end, and it is coming to an end, or has come into an end in the month of June. I can't make this stuff up, Pisces. You've got the Nine of Rods when I told you you guys were feeling tired. This is all coming to an end. You've got the Ten of Rods. Ugh, this is burden. This is... Pisces, not only have you guys been mentally burdened by this situation, you have it has made you feel physically burdened, like you're carrying all the weight. You're carrying all of this weight on your shoulders and you're just trying to keep the balance and just trying to keep things going, but mentally and emotionally and physically, you're just done. You've got the two done cards in the tarot. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Rods, this is complete. This is done. You can't even do anymore. You can't even do it anymore, Pisces. Even if you tried, you couldn't. It's done. It's going to come to a culmination and an end in the month of June. Thank God. Thank God. And, you, and you know, I understand that you guys may not see it like that. You see it like, you see it like the Five of Swords. Nobody's winning here. This is not a, a, a victory to celebrate where someone comes back triumphant. No, not at all. Not at all. It's not, it's not what you would have wanted. It's not what you have wa would have wanted. It's not how you wanted it to be. But it is what it is nonetheless. And understand, Pisces, and I know that you guys understand that everything happens for a reason. We have to let go of things that hold this type of energy over us in order to progress, in order to move forward. My prayers are absolutely with you through the month of June, Pisces. And I, I know that you guys have been through this in your lives before. You know, if anybody understands the ending of cycles, it's Pisces. You guys, you guys get what that means and you understand what kind of changes it brings. As difficult as they may be, it is the chance to start over and begin new and begin afresh. I'm going to pull an advice card, a spiritual guidance card for you guys for the month of, of June. You guys are really, you guys, you guys are really making me emotional here. And again, this is not going to resonate with everybody. It's a general reading, but this definitely was a message for somebody who needs to hear this for the month of June. Understand the cycle. And I know you guys do understand the cycle that things end so that new things can begin. Dear you, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace, and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. Like I said, Pisces, I absolutely adore you guys. And, uh, you know, I just want to reiterate that, that whatever you're going through and whatever the, the ending of this horrible, stressful, burdensome cycle this has been in your life, what, whatever it is, is coming to an end, is making room for something new and something amazing uh, for you. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.